The citrus longhorn beetle with its distinctive white spots has long been a bane of Taiwan's fruit farmers, causing crop losses as high as 100 million NT dollars each year. Getting rid of the pest usually calls for pesticides, which contaminate soil, turf, and the fruits themselves. But after five years of research, the Council of Agriculture has found an alternative way to crack down on the beetles, killing them with air. Let's see how it works. Small clumps of wood shavings are discharged from a hole in this fruit tree. It's evidence of a citrus longhorn beetle that's gnawing away inside the tree. The black and white beetle is one of Taiwan's most despised pests and it has a special liking for citrus trees. Taiwan has more than 25,000 hectares of citrus trees with an annual output value of about 14.3 billion NT. The damage caused by the citrus longhorn beetle has created losses exceeding 100 million NT. Long-suffering farmers have come up with all sorts of ways to wipe out the bug. Many use chemical pesticides. Others wrap tree trunks with netting to block incoming insects or stick iron wires into holes to kill beetle larva. These methods have a limited effectiveness. The problem involved with it being in a tree trunk is that it's like a maze in there. It's very difficult to reach them in there, either with pesticides or or a hook. After five years of effort, the Taidong District Agricultural Research and Extension Station has developed a high-pressure perfusion extermination method. Using a jet gun, a farmer injects compressed air into the holes of the tree, forcing the larvae out of the tree or crushing them to death. The entire setup costs only 15,000 NT or so, but its impact on the industry will be enormous. The Taidong Research Station says cost ranges between 15,000 to 20,000 NT dollars, depending on the size of the farmer's operation. The jet gun can be used in orchards as well as economic forests. Compared with the traditional means of dealing with this insect, this equipment is much more effective, easier to operate, pesticide-free and kinder to the environment. Researchers hope it will change the way farmers deal with their age-old nemesis.